1987 Jaguar XJS V12, uh, two tone silver over blue. This one, sits pretty on those wheels. Right, bodywork wise, we're going to start off at the top scuttle. We'll work our way around the around the bonnet, around the bumpers, and around the car, and then on the interior. So scuttle wise, tiny little bit of a bleb there. The chromes are good around the windows. The rest of the scuttle is all nice on the bonnet. No major dents. A little bit of a stone chip there on the lean edge on the top of the scuttle is all good. Go down the bonnet, all nice and clean. That lean edge is nice as well. A few little touch ins here and there. Those glass lenses are all good, uncracked, unmarked. Chrome works nice around it. Grill's all fine. A little bit of a little bit of a mark on the grill there. I'm gonna go out to the bumper corners and down that way. So this is the passenger front bumper corner. You'll see we've got a few little, little bits of bubble in there and a little bit of a scuff on the blue. On the indicator lens, two spot lamps on this one. That lower valance looks all right. A few little stone chips, a few little marks. Form of press on that. TWR, there you can see that. TWR. So if we go around the past there, driver's side front corner's all okay. Straight onto the driver's arch, and we'll try and get inside a little bit so you can have a little bit of a look. Bit of dodgy camera work, but you can see there that looks all good. A little bit of a funny metallic. Lie on the very arch, but apart from that, all presentable. All nice and straight down the sides. Once a bit of a polish, this one. There's a few little marks here and there on it. Well, the driver's door got a little bit of a bleb just below the door handle. Chrome is all good. On the mirrors, like I say, it's two tone, this one. I did notice out in the sunlight the other day there was a little bit of a, a light haze on the bottom of the door, very bottom edge of the door, metallic. A few little scuffs on the side skirt where people can get in and out. But more importantly, these back arches are nice and solid. A bit more dodgy camera work here. We'll try and get right in that arch there. So you can see what they are like. And there's a nice lip. You put your hand behind them, you can feel the metal, you can feel the lip. So it's not... You know, it doesn't feel to me to be full of filler. So the lip's nice and straight, it's nice and metal. It's got no bubbling, We've got a few little marks there, but there's no bubbling on the arch itself, which is nice to see. All nice and clean around the window edges. All the black's good. There's no bubbling on the window frames. They're all nice. Sunroof model as well. This side's all right. A few little marks across the leading edge. But we're all good, a few little bits of the paint on the on the roof as well camera doesn't pick them up you know you've got to be against it you will see them there as we go down that rear corner see nice and straight down the side of there a few little marks here onto the rear bumper now that corner is all nice and clean along the back of the bumper there's no real major marks that I can see got a few little bits on the back to the passenger side rear Across the top, a few little scuffs here and there, but no problems with that. A few little marks in the paint on the top of here. Spoiler itself's all alright, got a few little bit of micro blistering in the spoiler. And let's have a look in here. Where they normally go rusty. There's a little bit in there, but again, nice usable classic this one. And about time these XFs have started to creep up in money. Undervalued for so long with these cars. But look around the passenger side of the sunroof. We have got a few little blebs there. You can see that. Around the passenger side of the sunroof. We'll go down. A few little marks. There. We'll have a look at this rear arch again. Bit of dodgy camera work. We'll go right inside the arch. We'll have a good look. Arch itself again. Nice and solid. 
no blebbing coming through. A few little scuffs there. So that's just above the arch. You can see there's two little touchings as we go along the blue. Again, a couple of little touchings there across the sill cover. Up onto the passenger door, again, nice and straight. Nice and shiny, that one. Coming works good again around there. Window frames are all nice. Wing works good. Onto the passenger front arch. You'll see, again, a few little marks in the paint at the front corner, but again, all nice and straight, nice and clean. No real rust issues, and I can see my opinion on that one. I'm going to jump into the boot, then we'll go forwards. Try and lift this boot carpet up, if you bear with us a second. All acceptable in there, no problems with that. Battery cover, nice to see. Spare wheel. And some tool kit there, that'll be the jack in there. Right, we'll jump onto the driver's front door card. It's all all right. A little bit of delamination fade on the wood. Sort of navy blue interior. Rear seats. Typical XS rear seats. Very little use in the life. Because of the, the room you've got. Uh, normal Jaguar requirements as in saggy headlining. Um, but luckily now these days that's not a lot of money anymore to get fixed. It used to scare people but not a lot of money to get those fixed now. Driver's seat, a little bit of wear on the bolster and on the bottom swab. The right amount of wear for the sort of mileage and the, and the year of this car. 80,000 on this one, just over 80,000. Carpet set's all good. Lift that up, we'll have a look underneath there at the floor. It's got an over mat in it, wants a carpet really underneath that. Top of the dash is all nice and clean, nice and straight. Again, a little bit on the wood, but it's not flaking off. A little bit of a crack on the side there, not flaking off and this bit's, this bit's like leather or vinyl, sometimes they're wood and they normally flake quite badly there so you haven't really got to worry about that on this one. All the dials are nice and clear, nice and clean. Now James has, it runs and drives and starts and stuff but James would tell us that the key, sometimes if you put the key too far in it won't start. You've got to pull it out a little bit and it will start and I did notice that the steering column once tightening up on there, that is a little bit loose. We'll go on to the passenger side now. Passenger side, door card, again, all nice and clean. There's no rips or tears, a little bit on the wood there. And the passenger seat, again, right amount of wear for the year in the mileage. Doesn't smell damp or anything like that. Sometimes you open these doors and the smell of it, fudge gin damp. Seat's all nice and clean in the rear again. Like I say, realistically in here, just wants that headline and sorted out. But perfectly usable as it is. Have a look at this V12 now. Engine bay is all fine once. Warrants a little bit of a clean, but all nice and clean. And now I'm going to get James to start it up now. Like I say the key's a little bit funny. But when you know where the spot is, as you can see there, it fires straight up. No one wants the noises from that, no smoke or rattles. Taking over quite happy there. There you have it, the Jaguar XGS V12.